So Rap Sheet and Pelissero have both publicly stated there ain't no trade between the Steelers and 49ers. Well, well, hold on a minute. Shocking Time out. developments, I know. Are you telling me that this uh, this Marino guy <laughs> maybe had it wrong at NFLDraftBuzz.com? Who are you? He didn't have Seriously. It, he didn't have it wrong. He, uh... Like, I don't even know if he thought this in the first place. This is what happens on social media. People take a shot. You take a shot. It's just like a, a, a Brock Purdy th practice throw. Take a shot. If it gets picked off, who cares? There's no consequence. This is bigger than that. No, but if you're right, then you get to parade around. Look at me. I'm an NFL insider. Well, that's why this is bigger than that, because if he actually did get it right, it's more than just a, a practice throw that happened to result in a touchdown. This is an actual game. This is live bullets. And if you're going to put your name on it, if you are you know, somebody who fancies himself as somebody and you're going to throw out this crap and you're going to make stuff up and get it wrong, you get ripped. Um, bury this clown. You can get ripped, but I would argue there's still no consequences. Like, you're watching 2024. Do you know any people who just go out and find microphones and just say stuff? And it's just completely provably false. Yeah, and there's all the time. no consequence whatsoever. Yeah, and there are some social media <laughs> platforms that actually promote Thank such you. drivel. Some are owned by people who do exactly. this. I, anyway, anyway. Rip them, Dibs. It's at Marino NFL. Yeah. And the tweet says breaking again this is not actually true people out there listening breaking the Steelers and Niners have agreed to a trade that sends Brandon Knight to Pittsburgh no, not you, actually true you want to know who I want to rip yet I don't want to rip uh what's his name Cam Marino Cam Marino I don't want to rip him get him on the show Lucas I don't want to I don't want to uh rip Andrew Filipponi I would like to rip uh Larry Kruger you won't I will Larry you won't Larry what are you doing did he retweet Stop. Camarino? He retweeted it and wrote, Bye-bye, Ayuk. Stop whopping me. The, the, Stop whooping me. The, Come on, Larry. <laughs> the return better be good or, Stop. or fans will riot. Come on, Larry. I heard him with you. I heard him come on and he is... It, I mean, maybe I should have dialed out in Hawaii more than I did. I heard all of it. I heard all of it. Apparently you did. I, I listened you to out. all of it. I I would have taken more shots if uh, I knew you were listening. I heard what y'all did. I, I heard didn't do any, anything. Yeah, I heard all of it. I was on my best behavior. I had my feet up by a pool. Randy, did I take shots at, at our guy, Mark Willard? That's all you did. Yeah, I heard all of it. <laughs> There's my quarterback. And in Hawaii, it happens before <laughs> noon. I'm like, I haven't even had lunch yet. And Kruger's out here telling people that the handshake meant that Brandon's about to get traded. Larry! I called him on it. Larry, you've been here for years. Come on, man. Larry's tapped in. Larry's a smart guy. We might need to call Larry. We might need to cancel Filipponi and call Larry instead. Just to make fun of him. I want Cam Marino. Let's, Let's get, get him on the show. Get all three of them on at once. Brandon Ayuk has not been traded to the Steelers. However, maybe he will be. Maybe he will be. And then, then, then they get to victory lap. But uh, I do think that the retweet of "Bye Bye Ayuk" is is that's funny. <laughs> Come on, that's funny. It's pretty funny. That's funny, Larry. That's funny. I'm looking at a thousand bye bye. a thousand retweets <laughs> of the Cam Marino tweet. Go bye bye. And uh, I mean, his tweet did get three quarters of a million views. So there you go, Cam. You win. You win the day, Cam Marino. Yep. You, NFL journalist, you. You know what he's he called his mom. He said, Mom, Mom, I got retweeted by Larry Kruger. I got That's retweeted. Somebody, Mom. Yeah, Larry's got 40,000 followers. I got retweeted by him. Yeah, Cam's got 7,000 followers. You're not breaking news like this. No, I'm not trying to big time anyone. No, it's a follower flex right I'm now. Not, I'm not breaking news either. I'm not breaking news. In the NFL, I'll I'll say it into this microphone when Grandy hits the thingamabob. <laughs> then I'll say it. That's as close as I'm going to get to breaking news, unless it's like some crazy personal relationship that I have. There's one time in my life where I could have broken NFL news, broken, could have broken NFL news, and I chose not to do it because the guy told me not to. I spoke directly to an NFL player. He's like, yeah. I just got a two-year deal. I'm going to Houston. 
I saw him at the kids park. We're at the tod the, the toddler lot. That's pretty awesome. This years ago, and at he's the like, Todd lot. Yeah, Todd lot. And he walked by, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm going to Houston. I just signed a two year deal." And he walked away. I go, "Hey, hey, can I tweet that?" <laughs> he's like, <laughs> "He's like, will you just just wait, just wait for a second. I'll let you know when you can tweet it." And then, like 45 <laughs> minutes later, Schefter's like, "He's going to Houston." And I'm like, it's too late. Is it Robert yeah. Woods? No, it's not Robert Woods. But yeah, you know it was a Trojan. It was a Trojan. It was not Robert Woods. I mean, you can tell us now. That was probably Matt five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Was it? Yeah, it's Matt Leiter. I just guess. Matt but I, you know. well, how many of them went to Houston? Well, and how many other like bros and dads would be in the yeah. Todd lot? <laughs> Flip flops. What's up, totally. dude? Totally. Hey, dude. Dude, I'm gonna two, two, two to go to Houston. Dude, you know what Houston doesn't know? <laughs> I'm not very good, yeah. bro. Houston, we got a problem. I'm a lefty, but I probably should be a righty because I'm not very good. Anyway, just a quick aside. Oh, please. Trojan quarterbacks. Am I right? Yeah, it's been you a thing. Stink. Carson Palmer ended up having an okay career. Rodney Pete? Rodney Pete was back, back, back. Yeah. No, he was actually pretty good. He was a, he had I mean, a long career. Like, they're fine. Even Matt. Like, Matt, when he started at the beginning, it was interesting for a second. And then yep. Kurt Warner came in and just Hold ruined everything for him by being all Hall of Fame and everything. Todd Marinovich. Yeah, well, shit. That's, I mean, a, <laughs> that's a whole thing. John David Booty. Yeah. Oh, I mean, God, I I'm pulling some names him. right now. John David Booty. Anyway, it was, I, it was our first quickest side of the week. So what do you want to tell Bears fans right now about their pick? Uh, you're in trouble. You're, so <laughs> you're in trouble. I don't think he's, he's very good. Are. I don't think he's very good. Might be. I'm not high on the first three picks in this draft. No. I, I think, but who the hell am I? But Caleb I, Williams greater than Cam Marino, and greater than Drake May. But okay, yeah. but but still, but still, like if you if you had to put your chip into the into the circle of one or two top ten picks from this year's draft, half of them were QBs. Who who are you putting it in? Who's who's circle? It's a tough one because uh, he's old and he's been oft injured. But I like Penix. I like Michael Penix. Well, I like Penix too, but he's probably not going to play much this year. Right. So that's going to take a minute. Dude, I think the receivers are going to be fantastic. I think Malik Neighbors is unbelievable. I, I, I Marvin Harrison Jr., yep. incredible. Adunze, I also think great. However, you got two other great receivers and a rookie quarterback. Right.